What in the actual heck is that? There's something right there. Okay, so we just found this here. So this is the Lord's uh, Last Supper. Oh, man. What is this? Yo. I woke up in the middle of a dense forest with no memory of how I got here. It's like a nightmare turned real. I'm disoriented, confused, and completely alone. What the heck is this? It's like a witch or something. That's creepy. So we just found this right now, guys. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Yo. Okay, so there's nothing written on it. Yo. What the heck is that? I found like a... Uh, it looks like a bull skull. And there's little dice in the eyes with uh, magnifying glass. Yeah, that's like bizarre, man. Look at me. Yo, what the heck was that? Who? Who? Yo, bro. Bro, bro, stay there, stay there. Holy Welcome back, explorers, to this next exciting adventure of Rananautica. As always, exploring with Brad. Um, I found a, another forest. This place actually looks pretty cool. We got all the fall leaves happening. Winter is actually approaching. So we've been hearing, I can't remember exactly where in Canada, but like I know that the snow is moving this way. A lot of people, a lot of the other provinces are having like different things, some flurries and stuff like that. But as always, I drop your intents below. So let's get this party started and let's see what we can find. All right. Yeah, the sky's a little bit uh, gloomy today. We didn't get any rain, so that's always a good thing. But yeah. We're back at it again. I didn't know that these trails actually all intersect. So a lot of the trails around my area, they do, but they are different forests. So that's pretty cool. Different names to them too. Some of them have very interesting names. Yo, what is this? Let me check this out here. Looks like somebody started building a teepee or a fort over here. But then I saw this. I don't know what it is. Sorry, I like to get a little sidetracked sometimes. I always like to explore nature and see what this is about. So I guess it's just an odd tree, witchy looking tree with a bunch of things sticking out of it. That's all that was. I thought th I thought it was another fort being built or something different, but I guess not. So yeah, it points up this way. Sometimes you find trails that intersect. Oh, hold on, what's that? Okay, so that was pegged in the uh, in the tree there. There's like a little sun here. SN. I don't know what that is. South north, north south. That doesn't really make any do make any sense unless this is like meaning like you have to go back. All right, back on track, guys. Just fixing my screen here. Yeah, that was an interesting sign, though, with the sun. I thought that was a little bit weird. It's kind of cool, though. Our point says that we gotta go this way. Oh, yo, what is that? So this is arrived. literally where I'm standing. 
What does this say anyway? Okay, so it says the kid truck. All right. So we just found that right now, guys. I don't know. I think this one might be a dud. Looking around, I'm not really seeing anything. Let me just show you over here. Okay. No, nothing over there. Oh, hold on. It's, yo, I actually just kicked off the leaves, like just trying to walk over this. There's something actually there. Hold on, what is this? Yo, what is this? Okay, so we just found this chest, guys. I'll dim the light a bit. What the heck is this? Alright, so we found this, like... It looks like a necklace full of uh, handcuffs on it and it's another one of those cap guns from the 90s guys that's a little weird and these things were really really wild when uh, they came out everybody was collecting them I remember one of the first people that I saw own one was actually my uncle and they actually are a real cap gun see the thing pops out you put the single caps in right there and they actually work so they'll actually fire the cap so this thing will just go off like that. And yeah, they hooked on your keychain. And a lot of people were collecting them too. Yeah, that's really, really wild that we found that. I kind of want to... I don't know, guys. I kind of want to check and see if there's anything else. We've been finding these things that, like, you can pop open easily. Because, like, me and Angelo are smart about that. Like, check the whole thing. Check the whole thing that you find to see if the, if there's anything else there. So we're just gonna see. Okay, so let's this thing. I think there's some little metal tabs here. We can open up, and we'll just see if there's anything here. Oh, yo, what is that? Okay, we just found something here. So there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing on the photograph. The photo That's just a regular photo. It could have even came with the box. Because it looks like it fits like a, a picture inside. So I'll close that back up. But we're going to read what this is. I don't know. Alright. So we found this note. Oh, it looks like somebody's hiding information again. So this is definitely something strange. Oh, wow. Okay, take a look at this. Oh, my knees here just so we can have a look at this so yeah it looks like somebody's uh, blocking out information again really really funny um, when I first started Randonautica I found a psychiat a psychiat ah, a psychiatrist letter written all organized and everything like that as well so this says dear blank I hope this letter finds you well I'm writing to provide an update on the ongoing investigation into the disappearance of three individuals, Craig, Sarah, and Anna. As a dedicated detective, it is my duty to keep you informed of our progress in this case. Our team has been tirelessly working to gather information to follow leads to locate Craig, Sarah, and Anna. We understand the concern and distress this situation has caused, and we want to assure you that we are doing everything in our power to resolve this matter. Since our last correspondence, we have interviewed several witnesses reviewing security footage and collected additional evidence. While I cannot disclose all the details of the investigation at this time, I want to reassure you that we are leaving no stone unturned in our pursuit, our pursuit of the truth. Our main objective is to ensure the safe and return of Craig, Sarah, and Anna. We are collecting, no, we are collaborating with other law enforcement agencies and our efforts are not waning. We are committed to working relentlessly until we bring this case to a conclusion. I understand that this ordeal has been incredibly challenging for you and I want to thank you for your patience and cooperation. We will continue to keep you informed of any developments in this case. 
and remain dedicated to finding answers. If you have any information or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or my team at blank. Your assistance is invaluable to our investigation. Thank you for your understanding. We are determined to bring this case to a resolution as soon as possible, sincerely, and it's all blanked out. It's really, really wild because it almost seems like, look at it this way. Say if you were somebody that was um, ex-law enforcement and you were, you were stealing, you know what I mean? You were stealing information for yourself like stuff something like this because like look somebody actually went through the trouble to black all this out unless they retrieved it from that person because last time we were saying like what if these people are stealing people's mail they have to do with these abductions and they don't want anybody to find out about it whether there's any foul uh, like you know foul harm intent we don't really know but we've been finding like basically mail letters like this was definitely written to somebody it was probably mailed at one point there's no envelope on this one or anything it was kind of hidden what's more disturbing though we find it with like you know this mini fake cap gun and like handcuffs and stuff like that so we don't know if it was something to do with like you know somebody wants justice or anything like that but i don't know i think we're gonna keep running intense that's really wild i didn't even I, I like literally slipped on that thing i was walking over and i just happened to notice it i think we're gonna set another intent and we're gonna go from there guys all right walking down the trail now I don't think I need any light. We've got enough daylight as is. I always come across the craziest stuff doing Randonautica, and I think that's the only reason why it's kept me embarking on this mission so far is more so like the detective work. And even Angelo has said that too, but we, we've had a, me and Angelo have had deep discussions about this. And the fact of the matter, like we want to solve these things. And I keep telling them, I'm like, hey, you have to look at this way. We are not uh, private investigators, police, all this other stuff. So it's like, we could be getting ourselves into deep doo-doo. You know what I mean? With everyone, with the law, with other things like that, because you're basically, getting in the middle of an investigation but me and him we get really into it i've even uh sat down with uh brayden and done stuff too so yeah we're coming close to this next point so it says that my next point is actually off in this uh area here so yeah we'll start looking around on this like mound of dirt looks like a sort of like a bicycle uh almost looks like a bicycle jump or something like that eh like that's kind of cool oh, it's really quiet i can see houses off that way so that lets me know i'm safe so that's always cool but yeah it says it's this like whole bubble here that's the uh that's the point so i hope that we see something Oh, yo, hold on a second. What the heck is that? Yeah, there's something right there on that pallet. Okay, I'm gonna check this out, guys. Yo, what is this thing? Oh, isn't that cool? It looks like a cowboy. Oh my god, I gotta tell Betty about this. So my wife, she loves uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. She likes the first one too, she's obsessed with it. But check this cowboy out, that is cool. So we just found this cowboy statue, guys. Let's go check him out. It's almost like he's kind of losing control of his horse. Wow, that's neat. Billy the Kid, huh? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's really interesting. I love I love finding stuff like this. I love like 
for me, I think my favorite stuff, I, I like, so I like finding statues and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I do like finding, like, really mysterious letters and things like that. I know some people don't like, um, you know, us reading and stuff like that. But you gotta look, like, when we find something like this, it's, it's really interesting to us. So I like, I like it when you guys are, like, when, like, the group that are very into this kind of stuff. Like, you're into mystery, unsolved mysteries, conspiracy theories, and things like that. Because we really want to put the pieces together and just see what we can collect out of it, right? So, yeah, thank you for taking your time. Because I know some stuff we find is, like, there's so much to read. In fact, there was one episode I didn't even end up reading it. There was way too much to read. Me and Angelo, we had a lot to do that day. We wanted to check out more points and things like that. So, yeah, we like to keep the ball rolling. But at the same time, we do like finding things and um, really digging deep and seeing what they are or what they're about and stuff like that. All right, guys, so we set your next intent up ahead. Um... Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit dark, so I know I can't be here too long. I'm gonna have to boost up the light now, too. All right, so we'll boost up the light just in case the uh, darkness is, darkness approaches. Darkness is approaching. I have been seeing stuff like this, but I think they're just trail markers. Yeah, I think that just means up ahead. I never really know what I'm gonna find in these places. Very interesting territory, that's for sure. Look at that tree is all split apart there. So our next point is off trail. So I might have a little bit of a trek. But I know we'll get there. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is a little weird. This does look like uh, Children of Selene, Starseed territory. There's a fort here. So this isn't my point. My point's actually out that way and it's, it's, it's kind of in this area, vicinity. I really hope I don't find another one of their settlements because I, I haven't run into anybody yet, and I don't I don't intend on it. Okay. So we just found another one. These look really, really creepy. It's almost like a Wendigo would have created something like this. Yeah, there's nothing inside of that one, thank God. Hello? Is anyone out there? No. I did see one lady walking her dog and I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I get a bad feeling with some forest and places I ventured. So I know to always be on the lookout, be careful. And pack some heat. <laughs> pack a little heat. Raise a little hell, raise a little hell, raise a little hell. <laughs> Some oldies. Oh yeah, I think that's that lady's dog there. So I feel a little safe. Feel safer with them walking around, so that's cool. Other people are going hiking today. That's neat. So we'll just keep the camera down. I have to go up that way anyways, because my point's actually up here, so... We'll probably just dip off trail. <sighs> Climb up this thing. <sighs> this is a bit of a trek. I'm actually not equipped today, as you guys can see. I've got shoes on. So. Hopefully I can climb on top of this thing. All right. Hold on. I think I'm seeing another fort there. Hold on. What the heck is this?
All right, we found another area here, guys. This looks like it was an a little encampment, and then it kind of went to hell. Oh, yo, there's another one there. These are tiny. They must have been knocked over. That's weird. Yo, is there one back there? What's that? Just gonna check this out. All right, so it looks like there's so much, someone's starting one over here. Why so small is what I want to know, though. Yo, what the heck is that? Yeah, I see something right there. Okay, let me go check it out. All right, the train's a little bit wild, so I didn't want to get all mangled up in it there. So this says, Dear old, dearest old friend, our memories are wonderful and you make me laugh so much. I'm so very thankful how our lives have touched. We could talk forever, there's just so much to say, because when we're together, it is the good old days. Oh, that's kind of nice. So this was just hanging here. Oh, what's this? Yo, this says something on the back. Hold on a sec. It says, Love Marge, April 97. So I guess 1997. I'm not even going to attempt to open these because, like, they're a pain in the butt. But I will at home, and if I do find anything, I can just, gu I can just let you guys know in the comment section. What is this? Yo. I found, like, a... Uh... It looks like a bull skull. And there's little dice in the eyes with uh, magnifying glass. That's a little odd. Okay, so they're not glued in or anything like that. That is pretty cool though. I like that. That's neat. But yeah guys, I think what we're gonna do is um, I think I might try another forest. I might uh, try some new ground, see what we can find. I found some really cool stuff here today, and I know I'm on a hot lead. I know I'm on a hot lead. It is a risk just trying a new territory, try another another spot, but I, I, I just want to do that. I want to see if I can find some new territory stuff that I haven't ventured and uh, go from there. I know beyond this point, we have seen um, some Children of Selene stuff. That you guys saw in previous episode we found that little village and stuff like that so what I had done is I set in tents and I kind of moved way way back in this area here and I tried to get some close radiuses that we could get to and yeah I've been getting leads so I mean I know it is a risk trying to trying to wing it and and do a different area but I think that's what I'm gonna do just to see if we wind up with anything um yeah so we'll check you back soon okay all right, guys, so I ran my last point for the day um, up ahead. I really hope this turns up something. I don't really know. This is a completely new forest. I've actually never, ever been here. Um, yeah, so as always, I'm going to drop your intents below. So let's get this action started, and hopefully we find something spooky. I know Halloween's coming up. I really wanted to have something spooky for you guys, so we'll see what we get. But whatever we get is what we get, because that's exactly what's going on with Random Nautica. It's always random. I call it Random Nautica, but, you know, that's me. Big spooky forest. This one's actually really, really dark. And I mean dark, like it's it's pitch black in here. Let me know if you guys see or hear anything in the comments below. Oh, this forest is really, really wide open. I don't like places like this because it, it's a lot of cover for a, an assailant to jump you. I know that. And look at how dense it is. Like, if we zoom the light up ahead, just check that out. Like, that's insane.
This forest has like a sleepy hollow type vibe to it that I get. Yeah, I just hope that uh, happy travels. I hope that we're safe, that I'm safe, and then we'll get through. Sorry, I always talk about talk like I'm in the. Um, I don't know what person it is. What is it? <laughs> you guys are along with me. I'm pretending that I'm not alone. smelling something. I don't really know what that is. It almost smells like perfume. Okay, so there's just a marker there on the tree. So that's okay. Look at these trees though. Some of these trees look really creepy. Look at this thing. I saw a tree uh, not too long ago covered in mushrooms. It was literally a mushroom tree. The whole tree was mushrooms. Like you literally think that it's something from uh, Minecraft or something. This one's off trail. I don't know if I'm gonna like venture, venture that way. Holy mother, look at these trees. That is insane. How they wrap around like that. It's like a wall of trees. I kind of want to investigate here. This isn't our point. Our point's actually up this way. But um, I kind of want to see what this is. Look at this. Creepy, creepy trees. Hello? Okay, there's nobody there. I think this just wraps around. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to stick to the trail, guys. I don't want to wander off, because if I get lost in here, that's not good. It is good that the weather is on our side. It's actually warm. It, it isn't cold. I've had to change out of clothing quite often because it's just so warm, so hot out. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Whoo! Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <laughs> spooky, spooky woods, man. I don't like these places at all. Yeah, it goes up there. I'm getting closer to my point, that's the thing, so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh boy. I don't like the looks of these woods though. They're really creeping me out. Oh, it comes to a break here. It is dead, dead silent, guys. anyone there? I'm not seeing anybody. Nice. Places like this give me like the honest to god heebie jeebies like I don't know what to expect out of it. This keeps going. What's wild is that my my point is actually out this way. So I don't know if I want to keep going around to see if I can see anything. I just I don't know. I don't trust doing uh, off-trail stuff. I never have. I don't like it. I know that it can be dangerous. So for me, it's just kind of like, you yo, arrived. Brad, like, you gotta be very, very, very careful. So cool. 
quiet too. That's the thing. I didn't see anything guys. This just led to the water here. Yeah, like I definitely didn't see anything. There's the water out that way. I think this one might be a dud, but you never know. We'll go back if we do find anything. I was hoping that I would see something in these woods. I never give up though. Like, and this will, this, uh, this content right here will document that. I mean, I was led to this woods. I have a strong feeling, strong feeling that this intent is going to get me something. It's going to actually find something. So like, yeah, like I'm sticking with it. It's in here somewhere. Like we were seeing nothing, but it's in this whole area here. So it's like the island or what, I don't know what you'd want to call it. Okay. Hello, is anyone out there? I just found this TV thing. I don't know what that is actually. Is anyone here? It is dead silent, guys. Sorry, I'm just gonna pull my back, my uh, flashlight back. Just because I have it wrapped around my other hand, I can't even control my camera, so. I gotta make sure that I can uh, bolt out of here if I have to. I gotta use both hands. But anyways, we're coming up. Yeah. Hello? Footsteps, but I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna dim my light a bit, guys. Yo, what in the actual heck is that? There's something right there. Okay. Oh my god. Hello? Is anybody here? God, I did find something. I did find something. It wasn't even in our point. What the heck? Yo, that is weird. Okay, so like, that's the last supper, I know that. And there's like this lit, uh... Hello? That was weird. What is this? It's like painted. And then there's a little angel here. Okay, so that was a weird trek. So literally this whole uh, midsection here was our point, was our radius. I literally didn't think I was gonna find anything. This thing is so massive. I didn't know if there's somebody following me. I didn't hear anything. So this is, this is really, really odd. I honestly just, on a hunch, I kind of checked this one area because I had a strong feeling about it and we just found this. Oh, wow. Okay, so what is this? Sorry, I'm a little nervous, guys. Okay, so we just found this here. So this is the Lord's uh, Last Supper. Right there, so you got Jesus and everybody. 
That's interesting. I'll we'll see if there's anything in the back. Yo, what is this? Okay, so there's another language. I don't know what this is, guys. I don't know whether that's... Uh, I don't know whether that's from Germany or... Russia or Ukraine. I don't know what kind of what language this is. So if one of you guys could read that, that'd be cool. It definitely it's not English. Whoa, what is this? This is in English. So this says, "I am not God, and it is a mistake to see Jesus as God." Yeah, okay, buddy. And then it says, "But I am the living word of God the Father. Everything that God wants to say, he says through me." And then it says JS anything inside of this? I okay, want to check this out right now, guys. Seems to be the easiest thing is... Okay, so we just pop that out. What is this? Yo. Okay, so there's nothing on the back of that. Oh, wow. Okay, so we just found another note, guys. This could be something serious, so I don't know. But to find out... Check this out right now. Okay, some sort of note here. So this says, Dear Sarah, I don't know how to begin this letter. I'm writing to you from a place that I can't even comprehend. I woke up in the middle of a dense forest with no memory of how I got here. It's like a nightmare turned real. I'm disoriented, confused, and completely alone. The forest seems endless, and the towering trees are closing in on me. But that's not the worst part. I can see fortresses everywhere, as if this place is some sort of nightmarish battleground. I'm not sure if I'm in danger, but I can't shake this feeling of impending doom. I'm doing my best to find my way out to make it back to you, but it feels like an impossible task. I hope I can make it out of here alive. Please, Sarah, if you get this message, do whatever you can to help me. I love you more than words can express, and the thought of never seeing you again is unbearable. I'll keep you updated as much as I can. Stay safe and pray that I find my way home. Love, Craig. Okay. And it's funny because we found this really interesting. Because we keep coming across the, these names. We keep coming across Craig, Sarah, Anna, a few different things. So that's really interesting. Okay, so what else is there? Is there anything in the back? Oh, yo, what is this? So it says, so there's like, these are X'd out, Sarah and Anna. It says, don't worry, I took good care of them. Smiley face, Craig with a question mark. I mean, with a, with a check mark on it. Yeah, like, I just have a bad feeling that something went down. Um, it does seem to me that it could be cult-related, seeing stuff like this all set up and stuff. This seems to be something that I should tell Angelo. Um, I, I think he mentioned something like this before with this JS. Where is this? Yeah, it says JS right there. Um, I don't really know anything about them. I don't know the involvement. I don't know any of this. He's just told me that they're very dangerous and they're very, very big. Um, but yeah, I don't like this cult stuff. I really don't, man. Like, I'm freaked out. I'm in the middle of the freaking woods right now. Finding this is just crazy. I didn't even see anybody come into this forest. Like, this place is big and dense, but... I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to call it a night. I don't think I'm safe anymore. It's nighttime. It's pitch black out. Um, if there's people going missing, I don't want to become one of them. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start fresh tomorrow and just see where we go from there. All right, guys. Welcome back, guys, to this next exciting venture of Randonautica. So where we left off last time, um, the children of Celine Village, um, I didn't manage to get any more stuff. Uh, we wanted to, to do more points and adventure further, but unfortunately we didn't get a lot of stuff done. So I only got 44 minutes of film last time. I decided to come back daytime and see if I could find anything. And 
yeah, just kind of go from there. Like, it's the Deadwood mystery. Um, I did manage to find some more forts coming in that look pretty, pretty creepy. <sighs> yeah, I'll just show you guys these. So our first point is actually up this way. And I'll show you. I think I dented this umbrella. I really hope not. Because it's not mine. <laughs> I had to borrow it, but yeah, there's another structure here. I think our first point is actually probably nearby one of these settlements. We don't really know. Oh uh, yeah, so there's another one there. I think this is one that I actually found something last time. So my point actually says that it's up this way, guys. So we'll just go check it out. Oh my god, I actually think that it is inside of this thing, I'm not sure. Okay, my blip just went off now. I'm actually very nervous being here, guys, because of the cult. Whoa! Yo, what is that? No, there's something here. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's another one of these uh, fake candles. Okay, that's eerie. What is this? All right, so this says, why is Lucius why is Lucius calling the shots whenever Z leaves in a recruiting mission? I don't like him. I hate how he orders us all around. And I don't like that he's in charge of food rations. Our people are starving. We won't last another winter. And that was inside. I'm going to make sure that this is here because I really think that this could possibly be Z's fort. And I don't want to mess around with that. Yeah, that's, that's unsettling. Okay, like this is definitely, this isn't good. All right, I'm gonna set another point and go up the trail. If I don't like the looks of things, I'm gonna turn back. Okay, guys? All right, so we're going up the trail now. I definitely wore too many layers today. I've been dressing for fall and fall is not here. It's actually still like really, really warm outside. But yeah, you can see the sky and everything like that. Everything's looking good. These points are actually... So I'm actually nearby the next point. I had to cut a bit of time off for the walking, so... What is that? I don't know what this is. Yo, what is that? It looks like there's something right there. It looks like a teddy bear or something. Yo. Oh, it doesn't turn. Yo, it's actually got a belly. I'm gonna see if there's actually anything here. They seem to be like hiding things. What is this? I really don't like dealing with this cold stuff. I want to leave this alone. Where is Vicky? Why are people leaving? Okay, let me put that back. I am getting hits today. Like, this is crazy. 
And look at these forts, like they're insane. Like people are going to town on them. Sorry, I'm a bit sweaty. I dressed way too much for this. I'm gonna have to be careful, especially with the blood sugars, but I brought figs and snacks and things like that. So it should be good. But yeah, I think we're gonna set our next point. We're gonna move up forward. I wanna see what else this village has. Okay, guys. Wow, the woods are dense. There's more forts up there, but that's not our point. I kind of want to focus on this terrain and go up. Oh, there's just people walking with their dog. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there's other people here. So that makes me feel safe, so that's good. I honestly didn't know what to expect, so. <laughs> Keep it over here so I don't film that. Hey guys. <laughs> yep, so people are dog walking today and hiking and all that, so that's all really good. I don't feel so alone, so that really helps me out. I have a feeling I'll be doing an awful lot of walking today. This is all new grounds to me. I've never explored this area. Many of my friends were working today, so I couldn't really have people come out. They've got their own jobs during the day. A lot of people have been asking me about Brett and I haven't been able to get him out. I think he's living with his new girlfriend, well his fiance. So they're, they're quite busy doing their own things. So I don't want to bug them and get in the way of that because I know that he's really trying to get everything set up for his new life with uh, his new wife. So my next point is actually straight in the middle of this trail right here. Hello? Yo. You have arrived. There's something there. Is anyone there? Okay. Yo, what the heck is this? Yo, it looks like a witch or something. That's creepy. So we just found this right now, guys. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna stay away from it though. Cause I know this cult deals with really bizarre things. We've found witchy things. I, I really don't know if they have a direct religion or multiple because I have found books to do with witchcraft and different things. All right, let's continue on. So I think that my next point is actually a bit of a trek, guys. So we'll have a bit of walking. I feel bad because I think I broke this umbrella. It's a little dented in. So I hope that, uh, I truly hope that I didn't uh, wreck it. Maybe it's fixable, maybe I can bend it back. Okay. All right, guys, so. We're heading to the next point up here. I feel better that there that I saw some people walking by, so that's that's a good thing. When you see people walking in the woods and walking their dogs, you start feeling a lot safer about the idea, especially since the rain hasn't been like hard. It's kind of been there. You know, so my next point is actually off in this area here. So this is actually off trail. I'm gonna put the umbrella down. I think I might be okay. Cause the rain's kind of stopped a bit, so check that out. Yo, there's like this weird, 
creepy tree here. You have arrived. Look at all the mushrooms on it. That's insane. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Okay, we just found something here. Yo. Okay, so there's nothing written on it. So we just found this, guys. I'm just gonna go back to the trail real quick and have a peek. But we just found, uh, it looks like three keys. I don't know if any of you guys know what this means. Or if it means anything at all. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, I can't open this up. I can't open this up without a proper screwdriver. So I might actually have to take that at home to inspect it and see if there's anything in there. But I think what I'm going to do is leave it off trail because I might want to come and collect this. That's interesting. I'm going to put that there so I can find it. I don't keep everything. Some things I leave. And if it has to do with some of those notes, like they're waiting for somebody to retrieve them, like Children of Zeus, I don't want to. I don't want to know. But anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one last point, I think, and just see if I get anything else. And then I might just leave. I just don't, I don't feel easy being here, even though I've seen some people walking through the woods. I don't feel easy being in this forest, like just because of all the things that have gone down and because of me finding poison last time. So I think what we'll do, we'll set one last point and... Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> I wish I could do that umbrella spinning thing. It's funny, they talk about it on uh, Seinfeld, that Seinfeld was, uh, he used to spin those, so. That was a little wild. Okay, so that's just nature I'm hearing. Yep, so we get a lot of uh, a lot of nature sounds in these forests. I've heard an owl once, but I did not see him. I was searching the whole time for this owl, thinking that I'd find him, and I was like, what the hey? Because we could not see it at all. And I think that's the reason. I think it's because they're hunters, so. Yeah, I don't know what it is, guys. I just feel, I just feel uneasy being in, in this forest particular. Yo, what the heck is that? So that's not even my point. That's actually like, Oh, that's weird. What is that? Yo. Okay, so we just found this statue, guys, in the woods right now. That actually looks kind of like a famous statue. It's probably not a real one. Alva 9-3. Oh, there's the artist on the back. But somebody sculpted that. You can see by the chips there that that was sculpted. Hmm. That's cool. But again, guys, like, I don't know. I seriously don't know if this is a cult thing. So I'm going to leave that. Like I said, some things I leave. Because you just, if you're not too sure, leave it behind, right? Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here's the point right here. Not really seeing much. You have arrived. Okay, so there's nothing that way. Oh, yo. Something right here. Okay, what is this? Fatima, I think that's an Italian, and this looks like a, like, you know, like, you'd, you'd, you'd press books together, like, 
in your home library kind of like a, I can't remember what a paperweight that's what it is it's called a paperweight so we just found this religious paperweight on a the da Vinci legacy okay, what is this Let's see if there's anything here oh yo what the heck is that yo we just found this note right here what is this all right guys, so we just found this note. So it says, concerned, October 3rd, 2023. So it says, good afternoon, Craig. How are things? I'm writing to you today in secret because I have reason to believe you have either not been receiving my letters or and emails, or you have been avoiding them altogether. Please respond as soon as you receive this. These are urgent matters that require your attention before moving forward and taking the best course of action. I truly hope you are okay and that nothing has happened to you. It is unlike you to avoid responding or making a regular appearance at work. Sincerely, Sarah. Yeah, that's like bizarre, man. Like, an, Yo, what the heck was that? Oh, oh, yo, bro. Bro, bro, stay there, stay there. Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, holy smokes, there's some freaking guy with a whip, oh my god, oh my god, yo bro, just stay back man, just stay back bro, stay there, holy okay, we gotta go, oh my god, oh, he's still whipping, he's still there, holy smokes, this isn't good. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh, he's still coming. He's still coming. Holy free. Oh boy. I think my ankles are cut because these stupid boots rubbing on my shins. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't remember which way I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. He's got a whip. I don't know where to hide, that's the thing. Anywhere's a dead giveaway. Come on. Come on, Brad. Oh. Holy smokes. There's gotta be some place to hide. There's gotta be. Oh. Oh, free. I can't stay there. Oh, free. I was tired. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, stay back, man. Stay back. Holy smokes. This guy means business. Yeah. <sighs> 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 
<laughs> He's still coming. He's still coming. Free. Oh, oh. <sighs> Come on, man. That's definitely one of them. I'm gonna hide here. Oh boy. Oh fuck. It's big enough. I can't believe you didn't see me. I can't believe it. That was so close. That was too close. I don't... I don't have any water. I have some figs, but I just, I don't know. Oh. Oh, please, God, help me. Help me, God. It's, it's too dangerous. The dog walker disappeared. I didn't see them. I hope that helps. I don't have any water. Oh boy. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For that is the kingdom, power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please, Jesus. Please, Father. Please get me out of this forest alive. Please have... Please... Someone help come find me. My blood sugars, it's dropping. I just had, I just had one fig left. I just had one left. <laughs> Please, help. Can't move. That's the problem. I can't move. I'm just too weak. I overdressed. Literally sweating to death. I need fluids, I need sugars, like I need the whole shebang, I can't stay here. That fake helped though, my head doesn't hurt, so I might have just enough energy to walk out of here. Yeah, look at all this stuff hanging down too, 
how this was built, I don't know. They were tying things. Who built these structures was very smart. I'd like to take my sweater off, but like at the same time... There's not a lot of room in here. And if I get cornered again, I'm screwed. I'm just so amazed. I'm so amazed that fella didn't see me. Like, that is wild. But what's really scary to me is that we found Zeus's tent. That was his tent. It has to be. Somebody wrote to him and they were telling him the situations going on here, which obviously aren't good. People are hungry by the sounds of things. They're hungry, they're desperate, they're angry. They feel, I guess they feel like in disarray, like a lot of this, like look at the stuff that's going on in our world right now. It's like they just feel like they've lost hope. And they need to get it back. I don't know if those are footsteps or if it's like... I don't know. I'm hearing droplets. Like I'm hearing a lot of... Uh, a lot of rain and everything like that. Stick my head out. I'm just gonna stick the camera out. I never thought that I know like what being alone in the woods would be like during the day and this is it like desolation like I just I don't know what to do I like I could go but the thing is I cannot run right now I cannot run and if I try and run I'm gonna get hurt or killed or whatever the guy had a, a whip he had this big whip and I'm like that would kill me easily Like, and I, I doubt a little, small, little pocket knife is going to do anything about against that. The guy could just whip my hand easily and take it from me. And God knows what, what else he could do. It's funny, I prayed to God that he would get me out of here. He seems to be protecting me so far. the biggest thing so if you're alone in the woods ever any of you guys use the sounds the sounds of the forest the trees the trees branches breaking all of that because then you know for certain you know if there's something nearby whether it's an animal whether it's a person like we don't really know keep hearing branches breaking, but I don't know if it's a person or if it's an animal or if it's that guy. I think that guy, we would know because he was pretty awful loud. He was yelling and grunting. It's funny. I've been wanting to find out like who my personal stalker is. We've never really truly found out who. We have a pile of names. Like, this cult is big.
Please help me. Right, right, right. Oh my god. Brandon, is that you? Right, right. Oh my god, bro. Somebody was hunting me, man. Somebody was hunting me. What are you doing here? Bro, I was doing Randonautica. Somebody was hunting me, though. Bro, we gotta get out of here. Right, right, right. We can't stay here. Right. What is it? Dead end. Oh my god. I just found that in the kid's help phone hat. We gotta get out of here. Okay, let's go, bro. Let's Come go. With me. Come with me. Oh. Oh. Bro. Take it slow. Take it slow. Oh. Oh my god, bro. I was praying to God. Dude, I must have been here for a half hour, bro. I didn't think anybody would come for me. Dude, there was a guy with a whip. Yeah, there was a guy with a whip trying to kill me, dude. All right, bro, let's get back to the car. Oh my God, dude. I didn't think anybody was going to come for me. Are you okay? Did anything happen to you? Are you okay? Your book, a bunch oh of notes, and my the kids' help phone had a VR That's creepy, phone. bro. Yeah, 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 we gotta get out of here. This is not good. Which was the way Which back? Way did you come from? Oh, wait, I think that's the way back to the car. I came from that way. I was out that way. Do we... <sighs> do, 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 do. Dude, There's I don't know another way back to the car. I only know back this. I only know back this way. There's someone in here. I don't want to be in here. Mm. Yeah. One second. Oh. They're about to see me turn my camera around. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. Yeah. So we got Brad here with us. Hey guys. He's been hiding out in a friggin' teepee yeah. for half an hour from this guy that's been chasing him. I don't know what which way did he go. Bro, I think I found Z's tent. I found this note addressed to him and then I went all the way back that way. So I was out this way. I had found a book. As soon as I read this note in this book, and it was a Da Vinci book, this dude came out of nowhere with a whip. Whipping trees, whipping at me and stuff like that. Like, this guy was hunting me into the dirt, bro. Like, this isn't good. Okay, because, okay. Let's. Okay. let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's get the heck out of here, bro. Let's go. I'm going to read the guys in the car. Okay. So he gets lost. Okay. So, let's go. We're out of here. We're out of here. Oh, man. Back. Yeah, bro. Holy smokes. Oh, my leg. Yeah, I'm coming, dude. Oh, sorry. My ankles are a little chewed up because my boots. Yeah, no problem. Did you see any people? No. I only saw one person in a dog walker so when I sick. first started. And I was really nervous that they were going to get hurt. Because this guy came out of nowhere. He was cursing. He was trying to hunt me down into the dirt, dude. <sighs> okay. Well. <clears throat> we'll have to be quiet, bro. Be quiet. Just keep your wits about, dude. <sighs> we may have to fight our way, our way out of here. Once again, I don't know. Well, if we're going to fight our way out of here, dude. You're not fighting with a camera and an umbrella in both hands. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to drop it. I'm hitting someone with a book, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. Last well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay, dude. Dude, last time I went out, there was someone in the forest. Yeah? But I was so weak, I couldn't fight. Oh, I was weak. Bro, I was lucky. I had, like, one more fig left in my pouch, because you know my blood sugar, right? Yeah. And literally all I had, I'm like, I was crying, sweating. I couldn't move. So I was just like, bro, like, I gotta get out of here. Like, I was gonna be dehydrated. I literally prayed that somebody would come and save me. And look at this freaking big guy it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't do it myself. How the heck? Sorry, I'm trying <clears throat> not to swear because I know we're on your channel now. Yeah, yeah. How the heck did yeah. we end up in the same forest at the same point? I don't know, bro. I have no clue. Like, I was way, way back that way. Like, way, way back that way. So close to the road. <clears throat> I know. I kept vlogging the whole time. I didn't want to stop. Just in case. Oh boy. I'm stopping Woo. now. I have my camera, a hat, and all this in my hand. Yeah. There's no way we're getting out of here. Right? No. Yeah, it's really, I think it's just a straight shoot this way, Braden. Okay. I've never been up that way. I would, if you can, if you feel comfortable with it, I would cut your camera here. Because you're not looking too good, bro. Yeah. You're looking like you need a little sugar. Okay, bro. All right, all right guys. So be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, 
Exploring with Brad. B gets lost. B gets lost. We're Got more to get. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get out of here. We made it to the car. We're close enough now. We can hear the tr the roads and stuff. Where All is right, your guys. car? It's just right up there. I got it right parked in the parking lot. You did? I came from all the way down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a big forest, eh? Like, it's easy to get lost here. How did... I don't know, man. You gotta go. Dude. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Sweet. All right, so we'll hit record. Yeah, we'll just begin when you're ready, bro. All right, guys. Wild stuff today. This has to be the craziest adventure I've ever been on. I'm not sure about you. I, I have to watch back your footage. Mine wasn't too crazy. The craziest part of my adventure was where we met up in the forest. I can't. I still can't believe that happened. I can't believe. I'm. And what was your intent for years. that? Like, what was your intent for like the final? The thing intent. That you found? The intent when I found you was help. Wow. I was looking for help. That's wild. Man. I was looking for answers. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to show you some things, mm -hmm. some finds from the last adventure that will be in the same video. Cool. Right? Because I went on this one adventure, I was feeling really weak and tired from COVID. Yeah. And like it... It, it does just, just take, it just takes... It was very It takes draining, the energy right, right out of you, yeah. So like I went on this adventure and I, I, I was scared. I was actually scared because I was in no state to fight. Oh wow! No, I've never so seen you scared, man. So being in the forest because you're all balls, well, you're like anybody comes at me. It was just some of the things I found, dude. Like yeah, you're in danger. The, a drawing of a skull with you're in danger. That's creepy. Uh, what else did I find? I found it was basically like all drawings. I found a thank you card mm -hmm. saying thank you for weeding out our weaknesses. Apparently Zeus was a weak asset. Oh wow! So I got a thank you card saying thank you for weeding out my weaknesses yeah yeah and like all that stuff uh there's a whole bunch of drawings and envelopes mm -hmm. um and you said it's like a pretty good artist too like they were good at like drawing different things they were pretty good like yeah. it, like today i found a whole bunch of art like look at this dude yeah like i showed you the uh dead end drawing yeah that was a little disturbing but that like, was right when i was here's out. one of the ones i kept I'm just glad you you found me when you did, dude. Because like I thought I was gonna die. Wow, that's actually really nice. Yeah. So guys, cool. so we got the "Where Did that? My Heart Go" one. Yeah. That's the one I'm showing Brad right now. That's wild. But you said like, that I, th I thought that was really cool that you found like Pokemon cards and things like that. Yeah, I found saying. these Pokemon cards, but there's writing on them. Oh. And I found this MP3 player in the same tin. Wow. The problem is, guys, the viewers know. Mm hmm. Right? As soon as I found these things, I got snuck up on. Yeah, you were telling me. Like, as soon as I was scary. crushed down, everything was in my pockets. I was being snuck up on. I was being stalked, hunted, whatever it was. I got out of there ASAP. Did they ever try to attack you, or were you okay? I don't know if they were there to attack me. Honestly, yeah. they just were very menacing oh and, like, God. ominous. But, thank God, my point, because it was only one point. I found all this stuff on the way to my point. Wow. That's happened before. That uh, that's that has happened before. I've seen it happen to Angelo and other and other uh, YouTubers. I don't know what that means. It's almost like somebody had an onset path they wanted you to be on. Well, that's the thing, almost. right? Because yeah. I came to this. I was walking down the trail and I started the video at this tree because I saw this tree in the forest. And I was like, "This is epic." Yeah, this yeah, is an epic tree. There's some really cool stuff in the woods. Oh, sorry, I think our light. I light, light just went out. Might... <laughs> We're lights out now. You guys might be in the dark for this one. Yeah. Oh, there we go in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so it's getting dark out here. We have this light right now. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh, dude, is it dead? I think it could be. That's okay, though. We'll still see each other. But so you, you found, like, what is this, an MP3 player or something like that? Yeah, so this, oh, gosh. It's all right. Hold on. <laughs> Might even have a flashlight we could use. Or maybe, yeah. I'm thinking, okay, we're going to do this in the dark for now. Yeah. But I found this MP3 player, right? And, like, if we turn it on, it turns on. That looks old school. It's touchscreen. Like, screen, 90s though. or something, eh? It's, like, touchscreen technology, though. Yeah. But it's got this MP3 on it. And the Went MP3... Yeah, we're going to play it through the PA because it was way too quiet to hear it over the... Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pop it up here. Yeah, if yeah, you want to just it put it right up here, we we're can gonna get it. We're going to pop it up here. We're going to turn the 
party lights on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we got a little disco light going on. We might be using Brad's footage for this. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but it's disco. got this MP3 on it, and the MP3 is labeled a friend. Okay. So you remember when I got the mask, to like Zeus's, Toby's, whoever, whatever his name is. Yeah. Right? I know his name. Mm -hmm. But... I know. I, know I, Snitch, I, right? I, under I understand the completely. Like so, with these grant gangs and groups, you, I know you yeah. don't say it because it's like cold and yeah. Even so, if you left and stuff, yeah. I got his mask with a note that said from a friend, right? Yeah. So I got this MP3 and I've been holding off to listen to it because I wanted you to be present when I listened to yeah. it. Yeah, I, I feel that way too. Like some stuff can be disturbing. So. So we're gonna take a listen. Cool. Take and then away. actually, you know what? After that, we're gonna go through these Pokemon cards because there's like a few of them here. Oh gosh! I'll try to keep the. I'll try to keep like pushing it just so you guys have a I little. I think it's just dead, us. dude. Hello. <laughs> but uh, all right, we're gonna go on with the MP3. All right, he's gonna play it right now, guys. This freaked me out, dude. Hello, Brayden. You may be wondering why yourself and your friend Brad have been gathered today. That's both cool. proven to be valuable assets. In a long journey, and beat around the bush, you will join me, and so will Brad, one way or another. What? Oh, Brayden, be wondering why yourself and your friend, Brad, have been gathered today. Both proven to be valuable assets. In a long journey, and beat around the bush, you will join me, and so will Brad, one way or another. Wow. Okay, so, like, so it is forceful. You can tell, like they don't, they they're not messing around. No, not at all. What I found wild with uh, today's video, like I was actually being chased by a guy that looked like he was in a prison jumpsuit with a whip. Yeah, you were saying like about a whip. no joke. Like this guy had a whip. Sorry, you guys, the light keeps dying. A lot of our equipment died. We were actually Ooh. out for a while. We were out for a long time. Oh, my God. Like, really, really crazy. So We also got these energy cards, and these energy cards have yeah, things written on them. Yeah, that's wild. So the first one says, soon you will fight for your life. Mm -hmm. That's a fighting energy. Okay. The second one's a dark energy. It says, the shadows will not save you. Mm-hmm. There's the symbol. See, I found this symbol in the forest. What is that? It's like a little circle with a... Yeah, it's like a... It cross thing. Typically and like this. circles inside of it. So there's a circle, little circle, bigger circle. Mm -hmm. Cross right down the center, and then across the bigger circle with a little... Yeah, it's curve. not a Pokeball. It's definitely something like that was drawn. Yeah. That's really wild. But we got this psychic energy that says, all, it says, all eyes on you. Mm -hmm. And then right at the end, we have a grass-type energy... It says decide. Wow. And I was looking at these like right after I got out of that forest because I basically my point was right near the exit. Yeah. And I don't know if that was how it was supposed to be or not because they tried to sneak up on me. I think they were trying to come for the MP3. Mm -hmm. But you got out of there though, eh? I got out of there. I got onto the sidewalk and I turned around. They wouldn't come out of the forest. Were you running? Like, did you actually have to run from? Them? I booked it out of there. Oh yeah. But like, wow. The assailant would not come out of the forest. Mm -hmm. Just that's stood there. Creepy. Yeah. They see that's the thing. They don't want to be caught in the outside world. The forest is their world. Exactly. It almost seems like right. And that really freaked me out because like yeah. And that's when I was like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I'm in no state to fight. I'm weak. I'm tired. I thought I was gonna die. I literally did. I thought like, you know, like my my energy level was draining. I, I couldn't run anymore. And with those damn boots, so like I used, you know, using steel toe boots now, they cut your ankles. I don't know if you guys get this too, but they cut up your ankles, your heel. And they give you a little like, blisters. I, I have blisters. I, I know for sure I've got blisters. Yeah. But yeah, I literally thought like this is it. Like I literally thought this guy was gonna kill me. He walked right right past the tent that I was in and it was just like oh my god he's whipping this whip around but he literally he must have not seen where I turned because he was looking both ways and looking around and then he just proceeded down the trail whichever way he went I don't really know because I just I just laid down and I tried to be like you know what my energy levels are kaput I need to try to rest if I have to take a nap I'm gonna have to and I had like one fig left 
to keep those blood sugars just up enough so yeah. that I wouldn't, you know, like something bad would really happen. Oh, yeah. dude, when you came out of that. You told there. me you were like, dude, you were, you look so pale. You like had you that thousand die. mile stare going. You were pale. Yeah. You were out of it, dude. Yeah, I was like crying. I was like, this is really bad. And I prayed, and I'm like, I I just hope somebody finds me. I kept hearing pe- like dogs and things like that. Maybe it'll be that dog walker I saw earlier. Maybe it'll be somebody else going for a hike. I don't know. But like, I man, I'm just so glad that you found me when you did, dude. I cannot believe that. Yeah, I'm so baffled by that. How? I think I laid there for a total of like 40 to 45 minutes. I was there for a very long time. And I'm sorry, like, I so I fast forward the footage so that you guys wouldn't have to see all that because I was literally out of it. I couldn't move, I couldn't go anymore. No, that was so. Mm-hmm. That was honestly, that was ridiculous. Yeah, like some of the the heights that these people go to to torment us and torture us just to get us to join them, it's. It's a little baffling. It's a little yeah. too much. You know what I mean? But not even just that, but like the aggression. Oh yeah, well and that's the thing. Like I and I'm starting to wonder if they don't you know, they don't kill anybody, but there is like some level of, you know, torture or like intimidation and Intimidation fear. through aggression. Yeah. I'm gonna call it that. It's intimidation, it's fear. Yeah. Like there's These are all there's the definitely animal. abuse. There's definitely abuse. There's mental abuse. There's physical abuse. We know that. Well, that's the thing with mm-hmm. Zeus is he when we went our separate ways. Was he like pissed off about that? Uh, no, I was. Yeah, I was pissed off because I was not trying to get any deeper into the stuff. Yeah, and he was literally going into like. Like brainwashing through psychedelic drugs and fear mongering. He seems like that kind of person to like intimidation and aggression, so that people will join him yeah. because they fear him. He's a big guy too. Like he was actually, he's actually a little. He's bigger than you. Like he's pretty jacked. This guy. He's he's a big dude. If if that was him, like if that was him hunting me, I only assume that it was me because I was in his tent. I I'm, found a note written to him saying that why are members of our group leaving? Um, why is Luke, apparently this guy named Lucius was calling shots when Zeus wasn't present. So when Zeus, when Zeus was going on scouting missions, mm-hmm. looking for people, looking, scavenging for supplies, this Lucius guy, whoever he is, apparently he was calling the shots and people didn't like that. And from what I'm getting is that maybe that's why people, some people are leaving the group. Um, I don't know, but this person actually wrote this note specifically for Zeus so all I can say is, like, I think that that was his tent. Like, I was literally laying in his house. His house, man. And it was a big, it was a big structure made of wood. Like, these things are, I don't know, if, like, you saw the one I was laying in. These are big structures. Structures. These are not, like, regular teepees that we've seen. No. So. And that's, like, okay. So mm-hmm. Zeus and I, I was, like, Zeus's right hand. Yeah. So I'm wondering if he found a new right hand. Or if somebody to say. took him on as a right hand. I don't think Zeus would take anybody to lead him. I just think he's so ignorant and arrogant that, like, anybody he, that calls... He would only to overthrow and steal their power. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that no matter who, like, said that, oh, I'm the new leader, I think he's like, yeah, you are. You, oh. know, you know what I mean? Like, Yo, I found another like note. He's like that kind of person to me. The note in the VR headset. Your reality is perceived. Death to false idols. Death to your false idols. Yeah, and if he comes, if he's come to take this belief system, like any other person that walks away or believes in different things, they're going to think differently. I mean, the stuff that me and you have found, like, I found this, like, we went in that tunnel, I found this stuff to do with this bear guy later on because I found those you know those keys we found I I, I found uh, the lockbox that opened them and this guy yeah, apparently he ran off with the lair supposedly and they wanted to raise a family and he's like no we're you know like I became a Christian like I'm not doing this anymore they wanted peace he felt that yeah he felt that for the longest time he was he was doing the wrong things the guy was an ex-con he was involved in all this crime and things like that, and he literally had enough. And as much as we think we thought we knew Alara, I don't think we did. And I think, I literally think 
that these people wanted out for a very, very long time. I don't think they wanted to be part of Zeus's, uh, his fantasy world. I don't think they did. I really think that they, you know, that they, they wanted more out of life and they felt that they were intimidated into doing these biddings. We already know that there's poisons. Um, the last time, the last video, me and Chris, we literally found poison just sitting in the woods and stuff like that. So, well, that's not good. That, I you think gotta really step that up our caution he, here. No? Well, yeah, and I think that you know, I think he, if somebody threatens to leave and he he values their person enough, I think he would. I think he poisons them. I, I do. I think he's like, if you keep trying to leave and like you showing that you actually don't want to be part of this, that you're gone. And they're making it look like an accident, and it's it's crazy. Well, yeah. Bear, if you're watching this, and you're still going, I'm glad you found your peace and steer clear of that. Yeah, I absolute hope, psychopath. I hope he's okay. I really do. I will. And, I hope know. he's good, dude. Because like honestly, when we were younger, he was one of my good buddies. Yeah. And it hurt to leave him behind to like find a better life, but that it was necessary. Mm -hmm. If he did the same thing, and it's wild well, too, because you used to tell me that he was a little bit of more of aggressive. So for somebody to change and just say like, you know what, what I'm, what we're doing is wrong. Well, I used to be aggressive too. Yeah, that's I true. used to be like it was Zeus. Yeah, Zeus is he makes people aggressive because wow. they fear him. If you don't do what he says, what's going to happen to you? You and never know. I don't know if if this is the same guy that I've been running into. If he is Zeus uh, because he the person that I keep this stalker particularly wears a hat you know he's got prison jumps like this is like you can tell this guy either got out of a mental hospital or he he's got around, away dude. from something he's been around because these are full out uniforms and the guy literally leads you on like I remember finding somebody for after watching this video back I've even showed Braden a little bit of the clips this dude with the hat it's like, he's like, follow me, follow me. Remember the last adventure I had and this guy, like I followed him and he led me and he, then he hunted me. So it's like, they want to scare you, but they also want, they want you to join. Because the thing is, I think that me and you being the detectives that we are, we're more of a threat against their project well that's because we're involved dude we are investigating yeah right? yeah we're so i mean we answers. are better as an asset rather than a threat so it's like either it join me way. or they you work know? better in the shadows we've now brought them into the light they'd rather be back in the shadows yeah so the only way to get back into the shadows is to terminate our light yeah so it cannot expose them. fear us enough they, i mean put the fear of god into us enough and yeah yeah Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. Yeah, we hope you guys like this episode. Um, if you guys haven't already on my channel, be sure to check out B Gets Lost, his video. And if you haven't already on my channel, check out Exploring with Brad. Although, a lot of you have been saying you came over from Brad's channel, so... <laughs> You, yeah, yeah. you want to watch you. both of us in sync? You can. Yeah, <laughs> this next video is pretty awesome. Um, I do want to put out an unedited version. I don't know if it'll be a full video, but I think it'll be the stalker encounter. Um, just to show like where me and Braden were and then how we came together. Because that is pretty insane. That was it's probably the most insane footage that we've ever gathered. I can't uh, believe that. Being I cannot believe it. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy you were there, dude. I was praying. I was like, please, somebody, like, come and help me and save me. Because I'm like, either I'm going to die, like, I'm going to end up, like, my health is going to drastically change. Because I didn't have any food on me. Yeah. I literally uh, had, like, a couple snacks and that was it. Thank God I came around when I did. Or this guy is going to find me, whip me to death, and who knows? Who, who really knows? You know what I mean? I could have ended up one of them or I could have ended up, ended up dying. Because, like, I doubt... I know they could even have taken care of me. Their people are starving, apparently. So that's that's a fun. But yeah, be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We'll have more coming for you guys. Yeah, right? come on back next time for another adventure. Let's yeah. have some fun. <laughs> Let's have some fun next time. No more scares. <laughs> no more scary stuff. <laughs>